I am back with another episode of Uncut KJH. Anyway, I'm here to tell you to not sleep on metallic or shimmery lipsticks. And I'm going to display why, because it is the most beautiful thing. There's something about it that just reminds me of something like nostalgic and how like my mum would wear lipstick or how I would watch sort of people on like The Young and the Restless or Days of Our Lives. Not that I was watching that as a young child, but just that's kind of the energy that it gives. It gives the like, don't you talk to me that way, Victor. Anyway, I digress. This is a shimmery lipstick. This is from Longcomb. This is called Call Me Sienna Cream. Just watch. Do you see that little bit of pearl in there? It's got like a reflective gold quality. It's beautiful. However, I don't wear it like this exclusively. I'm going to show you a few different versions of shimmery lipsticks today. That gold little quality in there, I think, just makes it look so opulent and elegant. That's my camera settings on post-it notes. Uh, it makes it look so opulent and elegant. I do like to throw in a little endless cacao just to modernize it a little bit. Um, although I feel like a defined lip is also a little bit more of a vintage thing too. And uh, I remember my aunt when I was a kid used to have my, um, my aunt, well, she's actually my mom's cousin, but I would always call her Auntie Irene. I don't know how to call her Cousin Irene. Cousin Irene always had on like a defined dark sort of lip liner. It was great. It was like very uh, contrasting. Oh. That was my throat. I apologize. But that's the beauty of Uncut with KJH. You get to see the good, the bad, and everything in between. So we are about a month and a half, two months, two and a half months away from the launch of KJH brand. Couldn't be more excited. Couldn't be more terrified. Um, but we'll talk more about that another day. I just thought of it and thought I should say. Okay, here we are. Here's a metallic lipstick. There's something very cool about it, very elegant about it. I'm going to show you another shade. This is called Coquette and it's also Longcomb. This is more of a peach. So it's going to get a little bit lighter. You do have to be aware. Somebody DM me the other day, actually. Um, medium complexion, deeper than me. She had purchased the brown Revlon shimmery color that I used on Haley a couple of weeks ago and applied it like that. I was like, oh, it's just not working for me, but it was way too opaque for her complexion because it's suited to my complexion and that's probably an error on my part that I should have said like if you're a bit deeper you might want to go for a deeper nude or a nude that has maybe more warmth more sort of red or pink or berry or something to it um that said to make the most of that product that she bought I was like just apply less like if you apply less of something it's going to appear more sheer and therefore some of your natural lip color is going to come through and it's not going to be as stark and as high contrast so if you ever 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 feel that a lipstick is not right for you don't fret don't throw it away don't panic just literally take half of it off and I bet you it will be a lot lot better because like think about think about how our natural lip color already has pigment it's already lipstick if you want to think about it that way like think about how You've already got pigment in the lip. So therefore, that's why sometimes people just wear clear gloss. However, we're shifting the color of our lips with lipstick or creating a new color. If that color doesn't work, just tweak the color. It's like how I just did with that first color that I applied using Endless Cacao to mess with the color a little bit and sort of cocktail it up a bit. One of my favorite metallic lipsticks is actually from... Um, someone's calling me. Let me just hang up. One of my favorite um, liquid lipsticks is from... Um, Bodyography. I always smell my products that I haven't used for a while because that's kind of my, my my radar to, is it still okay? And I feel like it is. It didn't smell weird, so I'm good. This is called Thunder Moon, and this is a metallic liquid lipstick. I know Jones Road has a few metal uh, has a few liquid lipsticks that uh, a few lipsticks that are metallic, and I'm absolutely desperate to try. But like, this is like a plummy color, so beautiful for deeper skin tones. It also is a cool undertone, so I, I don't know. I haven't tried this exact shade on somebody with deeper skin before, but I feel like, again, think of lipsticks as wardrobe extenders for your lipstick collection. You can mix them, you can cocktail them, you can do many, many, many things with them. Also, eyeshadows are really amazing sort of alternatives for a metallic lip because often metallic eyeshadows that are shimmery or metallic in nature are really, really pretty on the mouth. But this is a really beautiful one as well. So this is Thunder Moon from Bodyography. And then if I wanted to be creative and play with like a contrast, I would take another shade. This is also Bodyography. This is called Strawberry Moon. And just go a little in the center and just kind of pop out a little bit and create like an effect. 
And that, my friends, is why I think you should not sleep on metallic lipsticks. These are more of a liquid matte. So when they dry down, they'll definitely have more of an intense shimmer to them. Again, this is Thunder Moon. This is Strawberry Moon, both bodyography. Um, and then this was uh, Coquette Cream in 326 from Lancome. My favorite at the moment, probably. Just because I feel like I can throw it on and it looks good with most things. And they all kind of layered really well. There's just something fabulous about it. Gives vintage, but it gives current. Not the color current or the fruit. The time. Okay, bye.